Hello, good evening and welcome to Dialogue for Sports. I am Mikhail Vaswani. At the age of 12, he won his first tournament, the BS Sampath Memorial Handicap Tournament. And ironically, he beat his elder brother who introduced him to the sport. That was just the beginning because six years later, he would go on to become a world champion. Well, talk about the beginning and it only got glorious because he's a recipient, or rather a worthy recipient of eight world titles. Well, he's been bestowed upon by the government with the Padma Shri in 2009, in 2003 he got the Arjun Award and he also had an award by the government later on as well, the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award. Well, what a fine performer he's been for India. Pankaj Adwani, no doubt, has been that man who's brought Q Sports once again back to where it deserves to be. Just the right time to introduce and congratulate a man who's just come back after winning his 8th world title. Pankaj, good evening, good to have you with us. Firstly, congratulations. Thanks so much, Mikhail. 8 world titles, a feeling of fulfillment and completion, or there's still lots more to achieve now? Well, you know, in, in, in every phase of my career, I've always hoped for different things to happen. And, and as, uh, you know, portrayed, uh, I think that it's time for the game to go to the next level. And uh, it, it's time for people to get into the game and, and actually uh, make Q Sports uh, a sort of, you know, like a culture right, uh, in, in this country. So uh, at, at different stages of my life, I've always aimed for different things. And I think now I've reached a stage where I'm looking beyond myself and, and right. you know, thinking about uh, the game as a whole. Right. That's a very nice way of putting things into perspective because at the end of the day, you'd want to give back to the sport which has given you so much, much like all the other athletes as well. Now, the sporting culture in India is witnessing a change. You're seeing a lot of medal winners in other sports. But you keep talking about promoting a brand of sports. Now, the acceptance when it comes to few sports, be it billiards or snooker. Have you seen a sporadic rise over a period of time since the time you started playing? One just gets the impression that uh, when we talk about few sports in India, there's so much more that's still unfulfilled. But before we get to all of that, I mean, Pankaj Advani, the athlete, the cuest. I mean, started at a very young age for you, if I'm not mistaken. You used to accompany your brother, but you ended up beating your own elder brother. Yeah, well, it's a funny story. Uh, it's it's uh, high on drama, and uh, you know a lot of people think that they can make a film on it. But when when I started off playing this game, I used to watch my elder brother Shri play in a snooker parlor, and I used to just follow him every day. And for three weeks, no, I never touched the cue. I never tried my hand at the game. I just observed. I was a very good observer, learned the rules, learned the technique, saw how they stand, how they hold the cue, the bridge, everything. And finally I thought, let me just give it a shot. And the first time I held the cue and she told me, okay, this is how it's done, go for it. Bang, the ball went in the pocket. Wow. So uh, the beginning itself was so good that I couldn't resist and, and I had to play the game. And I, I had to play more and more of the game. Instant like so was it? Instant, instant absolutely yeah. instant. The obsession was there, the passion was there. I, it, it just, uh, you know, yeah. came in as a flow and then from there when I started playing the game I couldn't get enough of it. Now, thanks for the, uh, the obsession because now India has a world champion and it's so nice to see that uh, list when we talk about uh, Pankaj Advani's uh, achievements over a period of time. Pankaj, I'm sure you get him nostalgic as well if you go back uh, to 2004, 2005, 2009 and then uh, in 2012, this is the latest one that you won. You won the time format uh, in, and won the world professional billiards title but one thing that's really good about your achievements is that you're giving equal importance and proficiency in both forms, that's billiards and snooker and that you want to take them seriously as well. The first one was in 2003, you won the IB SF World Snooker Championship, but after that it's been billions all the way. Would you like to take us through that list? Well, yeah, in fact, when I won the snooker title in 2003, the World Championship in China, uh, I went there as a nobody, and no one expected me to win, and I came back with the trophy. So uh, it was a dream come true for me, and I think still one of the most special victories that I've had. Uh, since then, it's been a lot of billiards for me, although, you know, I've played snooker on the side, but not had the kind of success in snooker that I've had in billiards over the last uh, seven to ten years. Uh, but, uh, you know, as and when as and when I've played these big, big events, I've won, I've lost at times, obviously like any sports person does. You can't win all, you can't lose also continuously. So, uh, you know, it, there's, there's so much to learn, there's so much to discover on the journey. When you travel, you meet different people across the world, you learn about so many things, and, and that's what makes the journey uh, so exciting and, uh, you know, I and mean, it brings back so many uh, nostalgic uh, memories. Right, uh, Pankaj, at 27, most of the athletes are reinventing or 
rediscovering their thoughts of or something. But you have, you speak to a level where many believe that you've had you've achieved what you had to achieve. I mean, um, what next? How do you manage? How do you manage the situation right now? I mean, at the moment, I just get the feeling that uh, eight world titles, Pankaj Advani, he's destined for greatness. Is there more pressure on you now? Well, there's pressure at the same time. There's also a, a load that's you know off my back because. You know, if you don't win for a while, people say, oh, he's not one. Exactly. If you win... You went through that phase. I did go phase. through that phase. I went through that phase twice, actually. Once in 2004, uh, uh, and, and, you know, between 2004 and six. I mean, 2005 was a great year, but 2004 and 2006, there was a phase, uh, a lull, and then again 2010 and 2011. So, there'll always be people who'll talk, oh, I've not won, and I've, you know, what's he doing, he's not producing those kind of results, because the benchmark that I've set is already so high. Right. Uh, so, and, and then suddenly when you win, everyone says, oh my God, you've achieved so much, now what next? So, the, the opinions keep changing, you know, the, the, the way people talk keeps changing, and as a sports person, I can tell you one thing, that it does not bother me one bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way forward. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. You know, when, when you're playing your game, you're so immersed in it. At least when I play my game, uh, I'm, I'm looking at the final point. For immense yeah. concentration. Absolutely, a lot of concentration required. You've got to be within yourself, you've got to be at peace with yourself, you've got to be true to yourself. You've got to be true to the people who have supported you all this while. And, and you know, you will get the results. Right. right, we're just building up. I want to know more about uh, what's it like being a curist and a world champion for as many as eight times. We head into a short break, but on the other side, we also ask Pankaj, what if a youngster wants to take up with a sport? Is it an elite sport? All of that on the other side of a very short break. Stay tuned on the way.